Okay, so I'm just going to show a quick video here of what I think is the quickest and easiest way of calculating a heading and ground speed when given a task, the wind and a track. Now this is a typical example that you would expect to see in a GNAV or flight plan exam and it's something that you're going to be uh, calculating for VFR plugs. Um, so we'll just get started. So we're given here a task of 100 knots and that's what we're going to use first. We're going to set the 100 knots in line with this blue center point. So we'll just line that up. So task 100 knots and we've lined our center point up on the 100 knots. The next thing to do is to plot our wind. So we can see it's 230 at 20 knots. So we're just going to turn this dial around until we get to 230. And there it is and then we're going to mark our wind 20 knots up from 100. Now I know, I know some people teach the method of going down but I think that adds some complications. I think this is a lot uh, more efficient way of calculating these problems. So we'll mark 20 knots up so there's 120 and now we can just go to our track of 110 degrees We'll spin this around once again. There's 110. And what we do is to adjust our slide rule here, we're sliding it up and down. And what we want to do is to line up our point that we've drawn on with our starting task. So our task to start off with, we said was 100. We want to line up this dot with the 100 line, which is along here. Uh, and we've done that and we can see that it is along the 10 degree line so this is a simple direct reading we said our track was 110 degrees our heading is just going to be add 10 degrees to that so our heading is going to be 120 degrees it's a simple it's a simple reading so if we have anything on the right hand side we're going to add to our track and anything to the left hand side we're going to take away. So we had 110 degrees as our track. We're on the 10 degree line here. We're going to add that on and our heading is 120 degrees. Now to calculate our drift angle it is slightly different. Uh, so we've corrected to the right for our heading but our drift angle is actually going to be to the left. Now the reason for this is because the wind is wanting to push us out to the left. So we said our wind was 230 which is over here, there's 230. Our wind's coming from 230. It is looking to push us over to the left. So essentially what's happening is, if we didn't correct, we would drift 10 degrees to the left. And we've now corrected for that by changing our heading 10 degrees to the right. So we can just read off there. Our drift angle is gonna be 10 degrees. And it's gonna to be to the left this time. So essentially, for drift angle, it's going to be opposite. So if it's on the right-hand side, it's going to be left drift. And if it's on the left-hand side, it's going to be right drift. And our ground speed then, the final part, is really just simply reading what our center point now says. And we can see there that is uh, pretty close to 108 knots. So that is our ground speed. So it's pretty, it's pretty quick methods. Um, I think a lot quicker than other methods that are taught. Uh, I actually have a second example here. So if you want to just copy those down, and if you want to pause the video, and you can see if your answers match at the end. So again, we'll start with our task. Is a hundred knots. What we do is plot our blue center point with our task of one hundred knots. Now we want to set our wind 090, so we'll turn our dial to show 090 at the top. And we're going to mark up 30 knots from 100 knots. So there's up 30. Now our track is 290 degrees, so we're just going to spin around until we get 
9290 at the top there it is and we're going to adjust our slide rule to bring our black axe here up to our original task line of 100 knots which is about there that looks pretty good to me and we can read this now off we can read our heading from this so that is about five it's between five and six degrees to the right probably ever so slightly more to the six degree line it's just i've drawn quite a big axe so we'll say six degrees to the right so 290 plus six our heading is now going to be two nine six degrees our drift angle so we said six degrees we know that much and because it's to the right it's to the left drift angle so six degrees to the left so remember the wind is coming from 090 which is over here the wind is looking to blow us off track to the left so our drift angle is going to be to the left and we've corrected six degrees to the right to compensate for that and our ground speed well that's just going to be simply reading off what our center point says and that is looks to me like 127 knots so it's a pretty quick method uh, once you do quite a few examples it uh, can become pretty speedy and a lot more efficient than other methods that are taught